All right, we finally made it to past the security. What a fiasco in Asia. There's a lot of people and uh, basically it's a free for all. Good thing we found some line that was shorter. Otherwise, not sure if we can make the flight. The, fl the drive to the grab to KL was airport was super long from where we were. It took about an hour. Why does it take an hour? I am not sure. But it took a good hour. And then after that, you get into the airport departure. And Air Asia, it was a fiasco. Lines were all long. Nobody know what's happening. And finally found some gate, some gates that were, some counters that were like deserted. And they were just fine. I, they don't, on the one side, the counters were like, you know, 50 deep. On the other, the counters were empty, but they don't try to balance the load. And they don't try to tell people to go somewhere. Oh. Well, finally, we did find a shortcut. Good for us. And now we're going to gate L12. Today is the 19th of December 2022. We're leaving Kuala Lumpur and going to Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Very exciting. We're going to be there in Ho Chi Minh for about eight days. And then we'll go to Phu Quoc for a little hour now. Not that Ho Chi Minh is not hour now. But uh, that will be on the island. So we are at the airport. We still have over an hour. Well, probably under an hour. Maybe half an hour before we board. So I think things are kind of under control we haven't had breakfast but we got some pastry so we'll probably eat that at the gate or on the plane well well we went through two security first security was basically put your back through second security is more of the real security that we're used to but don't have to take off your shoes or anything like that but uh Unfortunately, we packed our sunscreen lotion inadvertently. Should have checked it in the back. We forgot about it. So it got confiscated. Bummer. This case look, uh, this case look extremely small and tiny. So it is going to be crowded. We're taking Air Asia. And that is a super budget airline. But the last experience with it from Singapore, from Penang to Singapore was actually pretty good. So we're taking that again. Another view of the airport. This is what it looks like. It's a tiny, tiny aisle here. And uh, well, it looks like our gate is open. It's time to go. So this is the gate area, at least there's some seats but uh, filling up fast and uh, not sure if, I imagine voting is on that side, although it could be on this side, who knows, although there's nobody here so voting is obviously not on this side and I think we're going to have to start munching since we haven't had breakfast yet. Well, Asia, boarding is a free for all. It's really no uh, boarding and zoning and Ladies whatever. Ladies and gentlemen, we need your kind permission so, to put your small bag underneath in front of you. Please yeah. do so, maybe your baggage being offered up from Kevin. Thank you. There's a little late. But I think they're rushing to try and board. Oh well. Well, this Air Asia, as far as your eyes can see, in the whole field here, must be oh, 15 planes in all. So, little planes. Well, 
getting on the plane. <clears throat> so far from the gate, nobody checked our uh, boarding pass. Interesting. This flight must be absolutely packed. The boarding process is as slow as molasses. I've never seen it this slow. Penukaran tempat duduk tanpa kebenaran adalah tidak digalakkan sama sekali bagi menstabilkan berat dan menjaga keseimbangan pesawat. Terima kasih di atas kerjasama anda. We are both in aisle six. We have landed at Tangkonya International Airport. The local time now is 15 minutes past one in the afternoon. Receptive, please remain seated. You may now use your mobile phone or tablet in flight mode or connect to your mobile network. Do be careful when opening the compartment and please ensure you have all your personal belongings with you before leaving the aircraft. It was a pleasure having you on board and we look forward to serving you again soon. On behalf of AirAsia, Captain Arifin, Captain Raman and the rest of the crew member would like to say thank you for choosing AirAsia to your destination. This is first class all the way. The last time we flew here, I think I was on bed yet. We had to get on the bus, shuttle bus. But this time we get first class treatment. We actually get a bridge to the terminal. Nice. This is Tanshanya International Airport. It's uh, it's a lot better than Kuala Lumpur. It seems at least it's nice and wide and long. For some reason, KL Airport is feels small and congested and crowded and disorganized. Maybe they are under some going some kind of reno or whatever. But that was not a great experience scale of 1 to 5, I would rate it a 1. Tanshanya on the other hand, is a 3 or a 4, it all depends on how fast things go, because it's so close to the city center. When they build the new airport, that won't be the case anymore. Uh, alrighty, I don't know where Jenny went, but uh, I'm out of here. Oh, there she is. <laughs> it's kind of easy to get turned around here. So, let's see what we'll do. So, we are at Ho Chi Minh. We're outside. We got our SIM card. And we are... We also got some cash. So, we're good to go. So... So, because they thought we don't know. They thought we don't know. <laughs> so, we're here. So, we're here in the depths of the, the throng of the Saigon tra traffic. And it's about 3.48, so it's about 4 o'clock. So it took us about, oh, two and a half hours to get through that. No, two, one and a half hours to get through all that. So overall, it's not too bad. Now we are ready to go check into our condo and then move on. So after some... Tribulation at the lobby took us a good 10 minutes to get in here. 15 minutes maybe we finally got in. So this is a sort of a studio slash bedroom but it's not really a bedroom since it has no doors. And this is on the fourth floor of uh, Saigon Royal Residence. And it uh, looks like a pretty nice bed. And uh, quite quiet it seems 
even though it's only on the fourth floor the view out there is the Bedexco and Saigon one over there and the river over there so it's not too bad and then you got a little bit of closet TV a couch here a uh, good sized kitchen we're boiling some water right now shelves refrigerator looks like a pretty big refrigerator here's the uh, bathroom with a uh, separate shower which is nice in Vietnam a lot of times you don't get a separate shower and then here you can actually go out there's a tiny little balcony here for drying your clothes and your AC so it's not too bad it's a nice place oh and this place also have a gym and swimming pool on the third floor which we've been to barbecue and uh, lots of different foods here uh, this is a uh, lots of restaurants little shops but today we are going for a specific thing which is the thing that uh, that Jenny likes which is Nam Nam so it's just a few minutes to walk from where we are staying but along the way you can see there are a lot of coffee shops a lot of uh, little little food places you can and of course the non-stop motorbike I don't know if it comes out on the rec recording that this place is noisy Bong ball. and then Another little shop here, Mylin Viet Coffee. Across the street, Fu Hong Dong Suan, Bong Cha Nem Gua Bin. So, we are going to Ning near Han uh, Nam Nung today. Should be up here and then turn left. You can see a lot of, of uh, folks here wearing security badges. They are basically parking attendants. They watch you park your motorbike and they move it if they need to accommodate more, more, more motorbikes into the parking area. It's okay to go against the traffic. Completely normal. Today we're going to have Nam Nung, which is basically this uh, barbecue pork skewer and a uh, little bit of water, a little bit of beer with ice and straw. That's how they like it here and lots of veggie. So that's our dinner tonight. So in Vietnam, in a lot of restaurants, they'll give you these wet wipes. And usually it's like 1,000 dong, which is like a few cents. And if you use it, they charge you. If you don't use it, you just leave it, you will not be charged. So, we are pretty much done. Here's all that's left. It was not bad. <clears throat> um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 9 or 10 being the one that we had in Na Chang. This one probably a 6 or 7. It's not too bad. And uh, you see that there are customers around. So it's not completely deserted. So it's not, not too bad. A busy street no less. Cars and motorbikes and... <laughs> Look at that. And people, it's all not for the faint of heart. We will see how you can. Hey, where's Jenny Man? 
he disappeared. So, you talk about a flood. This is a flood of motorbikes. To cross the street here is certainly not for the faint of heart, but we will show you how it's done. What you do is first you take up, take your first step, and then you just walk. And then you just walk, keep walking. And you just adjust your speed. All right, let's go. Be careful, but be brave. Here is a place to eat gom tam. Hello? We'll come here tomorrow, I bet, because it looks so good. I think I cannot resist. I will have to come here tomorrow. Bangkok 30k Barbecue on the street And that is a eating street Foot down all the way, but we are not going to go that way today. Coffee, Denda, 15k. Soda, also 15k. And next, we're going to come upon a mini stop, which is basically a 7-Eleven. Looks pretty good. And then we have uh, some kind of a bank. Probably not a shopping center. Alright, so let's go. Don't look down on this little place. The juice is uh, 15, the shake is 18, and the uh, kebab 20, and Wi-Fi is free. Can you believe they actually give you free Wi-Fi over there? And here you can see more food stalls, this way and that way. The motorbike. <laughs> so they decided to take over the pedestrian walkway because otherwise they will be getting home late. <laughs> I think I better stay out of their way. Never get between a Vietnamese and his motorbike path. It's a sea, a torrent, a never ending stream. Where do they all come from? Oh, this place is restricting. Oh no, they have to go back down. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, this lady's got hit in the leg, but she just keep on trucking. Mine, oh my.
they got their little kids with them too, no doubt. But uh, you know, with a motorbike, you can always keep going. There's always that little space that you can squeeze into. Oh, school's out. You see what I mean? The the bike never stop coming. They just keep coming. I think if we walk, they'll be dangerous, but we'll do it. That's the most fascinating part of Vietnam is indeed the non-stop motorbikes. They go every which way and definitely every way. And when the light turns green, watch out. Don't anybody stand in their way. They park on the side of the street for sure. That is for them, not for us to walk around. Hey, a Honda dealer. Maybe we can get our own motorbike too. All right, a retreat. Not too many motorbikes this way. But he's coming at me. What am I going to do? So this is like a foot street, I guess. So we're just gonna go walk down there. Lots of people, lots of people eating here. So some of this must be good. They can't all be tourists. Oh, far. As far as the eye can see. Well, decided to take a reprieve, walk the back streets, and uh, look at how people leave, live. Lots of, of course, motorbikes on the streets. Not a huge street, but busy uh, nonetheless. Uh, got lots of food here. <laughs> kind of like a good food street if you want to come and eat. And here you can have a little bit of dessert and fruit and a grilled stuff. <laughs> the place because uh, there's just so many interesting things to see 
so I try to sing it every which way the video but probably giving you a headache This little street is quite busy. Okay. We cross every street regardless of traffic. We're looking for some place to see if we can find dessert, but it doesn't look too promising so far. Well, we might have to just call it a night then. 